how to edit a picture in Word document, improve the clarity and quality of your images easily. Hello everyone, I'm your new friend Josiah from the official YouTube channel of PDF Element. If you're looking to improve the quality of your images in your documents or learn how to adjust the size of the images to better fit your document, well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to use Word's image editing tools to improve the appearance of your images and make your documents look more professional. So stick around for the rest of the video to learn how to effectively edit images in Microsoft Word. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Using images in our documents is crucial as it helps to illustrate complex procedures or concepts in a visually appealing and easy to understand way. Generally, Microsoft Word is the most commonly used tool to create documents. But as is well known, this software does not specialize in image editing. So making some minor modifications might be more complex than you imagined. In today's video, I wanna show you the two easiest methods I have found to edit the uh, images in your documents. These methods are the following. Number one, how to edit a picture in Word. And number two, how to edit a picture in PDF. Now without further ado, let's move on to the first method in today's video. Number one, how to edit a picture in Word. Microsoft Word has a built-in image formatting tools that allow users to easily insert images into their documents, as well as edit existing images. You can adjust the size and add effects or you can use them to create watermarks, among other functions. Let me show you how simple it is to edit images in your documents using Microsoft Word. Before proceeding to image editing, let me show you how to insert images. To do this, you must go to the tab section and click insert. Then select the pictures icon to see the image insertion options. Depending on the location of your image, you must choose the corresponding feature. In this case, I'm going to use the option, this device. A dialog box will display. Now through this, you have to search for the location of the image you want to add. Once you find it, double click it or select it and click the open button. This will automatically place the image on your document. You can also increase or decrease the size of your image by holding down the left mouse button while the cursor is over on the eight white dots and dragging until the image size is the right one. Open your file with Microsoft Word and select the image you want to edit. You will see that the picture format tab will display on the right of the others. There are many options that you can use and let's start with remove background, which is the first tool on the left. With this tool, you can choose either mark areas to keep or mark areas to remove. To enable them, just click on the one you consider most suitable for what you wanna do. Both tools work the same. The only thing that changes is that uh, one keeps an area and the other removes it. All you have to do is draw a line to delimit the area that you want to keep or delete. After doing so, just choose keep changes and you will immediately see the changes. Okay, let's continue with the corrections tool, which has a sun icon. Click it and you will see some options to fix the image. Now you will see two types of corrections, sharpen and soften and brightness and contrast. You can preview any of the options by hovering the cursor of your mouse over them. Uh, when you find the one you like, just click on this and we'll keep the changes. If none of the options were to your liking, you can further customize the correction by clicking on the picture corrections options, which will open a selection on the right of your screen. In this section, you can manually increase or decrease the sharpness, brightness, or contrast for better customization. You will only have to click on the corresponding arrows and you'll be able to see how your image gradually alters. The third tool I will recommend to you is the artistic effects. This can change your image to make it look more attractive through different styles. Click on the icon and you will see various options. You can see some options that change the style of the image. You can preview any of them if you hover the cursor of your mouse over to the thumbnails. If you like any style, click it to update the image. You can also change the level of transparency of any image through Word and to get started, go to the transparency icon and click on it. There are some transparency options that you can choose from. Click the one you like 
and the level of transparency of the image will change. We already reviewed some editing image tools. However, not all of them are limited to the visual. And if you want to reduce space in your document, it is also possible to do so by compressing the images. The tool that takes care of this is also found in the picture format tab. Once you are there, click on compress pictures. Now, once you clicked on the compress pictures tool, a dialog box will display. I recommend you keep the default selection. Just untick apply only to this picture if you want to compress all the images of your document. Now finally, click on the OK button to confirm and your image will be compressed. If for some reason you are not convinced with the changes uh, to your images or you regret making them, don't worry, there is a tool to reset any alteration. Select your image and go back to the picture format tab, then click reset picture. And that is all. With this simple step, it will be more than enough for your images to be restored. As you can see, the built-in Microsoft Word image editing tools are quite useful. And with them, you can easily modify the images in your Word document. I'm sure that from now on with these tips, you will find many ways to make your document much more engaging. It is important to keep in mind that no matter how well you have edited an image using Microsoft Word, there is always the possibility that it will lose some formatting attributes when open from another device. Now to solve these problems, you can always rely on PDF files for more professional and accurate results. Now, let me tell you about the other method of image editing that I have prepared for you. Number two, how to edit a picture in PDF. To edit PDF documents, you will need to use a specialized PDF document management software. But before going further, let's talk about how to add an image. Adding an image shouldn't be a problem at all because you can use free online services like HiPDF. So before going to detail about how to edit an image in a PDF, I would like to explain how easy it is to add an image to a PDF with this tool. Open the HiPDF editor website. Its link is displayed in the description section below. Now click the choose file button to open your file. HiPDF offers four basic editing functions which are displayed at the top of the document. Click the add image icon to start the image addition tasks. Now you will see a dialog box. Look for the location of the image you want to add. Once you did it, you can click the image and the open or double click it to add it to the PDF file. The image will be placed on the document. Just click it, hold and drag it until you reach the location where you want to place the image. High PDF also allows you to change the dimensions of the image. Just click and hold one of the three white dots and drag until the image reaches the right size. Then release your mouse to keep the changes. In addition to easily adding images to your PDFs, High PDF has many other tools that are useful for editing, protecting, marking up, and reading PDFs. Fascinating, right? What would you think if I told you that High PDF is a simplified version of a much more powerful software and that you can download it for free? Well, now let me tell you about PDF Element. PDF Element is a professional PDF document management application with which you can easily edit any image of your PDFs with just a couple of clicks. Now, let me teach you how to do it. Before going further, confirm that you have the most up-to-date version of PDF Element installed on your device. If you don't, you can find and download it for free on the PDF Element official website or by following the link in the description below. PDF Element is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android. Open your PDF file where you want to edit images. Go to the Edit tab at the top of your screen, then click the Edit All feature, which is located on the left side of the tools. Go to the image you want to edit, right-click it, and you will see a list with some features. Depending on your preferences and needs, you can rotate, overturn, and align the image. Just click on the option you want and you will see the changes applied. You can also change the size of the image with PDF element, select it by clicking it. Then click and hold a white dot around the selection and drag it until the image reaches the size you want. And finally, release your mouse to keep the changes. Editing PDF images is pretty easy, right? Personally, I prefer to work with PDF documents. This way I can make sure to avoid compatibility problems and I make sure that the images are always displayed with the highest 
quality, and precision possible. That was all about how to edit a picture in Word document. Now that you know how to edit images in a Word document and also in a PDF, don't forget that you can get the most out of both methods, using Microsoft Word first to make some picture additions and then converting your document to PDF format to fine tune the last few details and ensure that the images in your document will always look great, no matter what device they're viewed from. Now before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If this video was helpful to you, I would appreciate if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel. I'll continue bringing you videos with many tips and tricks to make your work easier and more efficient. You can always take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you'll find more videos like this. See you next time.